This is lesson two in our basic JavaScript section in Free Code Camp. This lesson is declared JavaScript variables. In computer science, data is anything that is meaningful to the computer. JavaScript provides seven different data types, which are undefined, null, boolean, string, symbol, number, and object. For example, computers distinguish between numbers, such as the number 12, and strings, such as quote 12, quote dog, or quote 123 cats, which are a collection of characters. Computers can perform mathematical operations on a number, but not on a string. And all that's saying really is that the number 12 plus the number 12 would be 24. But when you try to add strings such as quote 12 with another string such as quote 12, you will not get 24, but you will get a combination of those two strings, which would be 12, 12. The same as if you try to do dog or quote dog plus quote dog, you get dog dog. Okay, so then it says variables allow computers to store and manipulate data in a dynamic fashion. They do this by using a label to point to the data rather than using the data itself. Any of the seven data types may be stored in a variable. So variables are similar to the X and Y variables you use in mathematics, which means they're simple. They are a simple name to represent the data we want to refer to. Computer variables differ from mathematical variables in that they can store different values at different times. We tell JavaScript to create or declare a variable by putting the keyword var in front of it like so. So var our name creates a variable called our name in JavaScript we end statement with semicolons. Variable names can be made up of numbers, letters, and dollar sign or underscore, but may not contain spaces or start with a number. So the instructions just say use the var keyword to create a variable called my name. So we just want to come over here to our text editor and create just like they did our name. They want us to create a variable called my name. And that's it. You just put var and then the name that you want to make that variable and then end it with a semicolon. It says define my name below this line. So we define it there. And that should be it.